Howdy folks, hope you're all having a good weekend, and welcome back to Bendy and the Dark Revival. It's the horror game that I'm probably not going to finish because, as former governor Arnold Schwarzenegger likes to say, I'm some kind of girly man, <laughs> and um, <laughs> quite famously don't do well with horror games, but we're going to give it a go. I mean, you know, how bad can it get? Yes, I realise this is the guy who never got past the medical spire in Alien Isolation, but we'll give it a go. So, in the first episode, because I didn't want to have my expectations subverted, I trusted the obviously untrustworthy and creepy old guy who was obviously performing some kind of evil ritual and getting me to help. There's probably a lesson in there somewhere. But right oh, now... Audrey. What's happened to you? The hell? New objective. Escape the studio. Suddenly everything went very cartoony. Oh, what's this? Every great story begins in mystery, although things may be dark at the start, the truth will illuminate your way. Don't be afraid of who you are, fear only what you may become, and banish it away. Your best pal. Huh. Oh, well, let me actually... This is as far as I can go. All right. So this is ink. I'm inside a sort of cartoon version of the studio. Um, those of you who've watched me play things that aren't World of Tanks and World of Warships, things like um, Deliver Us Mars, for example, will not be shocked to learn that this stumped me for way longer than it should have. <laughs> I'm thinking, how am I supposed to climb the ladder? I mean, objectives, escape the studio, find a way out. What, what's wrong with the ladder? Is this, is this a control issue? Is there some kind of button I should be pressing to use the ladder? Let's check the controls. Nope, not seeing anything there. Um, uh, I'll turn the sensitivity up a little, that wouldn't hurt, but... What's going on? How come I can't use the ladder? You can all see why I can't use the ladder, right? <laughs> it's only now where I figured it out. Oh yeah, there are two rungs missing. <laughs> oh, there they are. <laughs> the literal, the literal first puzzle in the game. And I was stuck on it for at least five minutes. This does not bode well. <laughs> Right, yeah, so let's fix the ladder. Uh, right, okay. Mm. Come on, I wasn't the only one, surely. Okay, maybe I was. Right now, I can use the ladder. Okay, so. Oh, there's something else here. Let's read this. I think I was drowning kittens the way these people are looking at me. I've never seen such disappointment in a person's eyes. What's this? Management can't pay their bills, then the bank takes the goodies back. Well, it looks like the studio was in financial trouble. What's this? Is a music box? Looks like a music box. It is a music box. Well, no big surprises there. It looks like everything in here is populated by cartoon characters from the animation studio. It's like we're inside a cartoon. Now, I haven't played the other games in this series. Um, but I understand this is a common theme. Just a little. 
little favor. Among you, there is a stranger, a young lady. Bring her to me. Okay, a couple of things. First, that was Wilson, the creepy old dude that I really shouldn't have trusted, who's the reason why I'm stuck inside this cartoon. And second, we're playing Alien Isolation, aren't we? <laughs> you can hide inside lockers. <laughs> oh, God, no. This may be the shortest playthrough ever. But we'll have a go. We'll have a go. This ink doesn't seem to be harmful. Oh, that's a nice effect on the wall. The reflection from the ink. I wonder how many people work for this studio. The, the one that made the game, not the one that are making the game. You know what I mean. The actual game developers. Because I've never heard of them. I mean, they can't be a very big studio, but this is a very well-made game. Then again, Choo Choo Charles was apparently made by one person, and that was an amazingly good thing. Hello. I didn't open the door. What's going on? Well, I mean, it's not like there's any other way I can go. Oh my god! <laughs> Enough! Enough with the jump scares already! Oh! That looks pretty nasty. You know, for a dead cartoon character, that's pretty... That's pretty nasty. Uh, right. Now what are we doing? Oh, we're recording. We'll listen to that. I just received the call. Joey Drew is... dead. But a quiet end to an extraordinary life. Last I heard, he was staying in some cramped apartment downtown. You practically hear the rats through the telephone when he called me last April. In spite of that, old Joey sounded quite happy when last we spoke. More like the excited, hopeful young man I knew once upon a time. <sighs> well, farewell, my friend. What will become of your creations now? I'm a bit suspicious of the fact that there's a locker I can hide in right next to the security override button. Yep. I'm not saying I don't trust this game or anything. But I don't trust this game. Oh, okay. Fine. Ooh, ooh, what was that? Why did that close? What's going on? Okay, this one's a dead end. The hell? Is this like the cartoon version of the animation studio that I was working in? Back in a Tayday. Um, it's only one thing I noticed. Well, maybe noticed isn't the right word. An observation was that the game was apparently set in 1973. Now, I'm not saying I'm really old or anything, but I was alive in 1973. In fact, I was three years old. And it looked more like it was set in the 1930s or 40s. I mean, 1973 wasn't that long ago. What's this? Cable seems to go to that door. Ah, okay, that doesn't work. Not properly, anyway. I guess we're climbing up here. What was the point? Oh my god, stop doing that! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> and, uh, and run away! <laughs> <laughs> Run and hide. Yeah, I, I can do that. I can definitely do that. <laughs> oh, fuck me. oh my god! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Damn it, game. You, what even is that thing? It looks like a sort of... Ugh. 
it had one screwed up eye the way Wilson the janitor did. Low on health, grab a snack. Okay, find some food. Took, oh, right, right in front of me. Okay. I guess we're still in the tutorial part of the game. I wouldn't drink Whoa! Much of that Who's that? You. Helps pass Jesus, you game, stop doing that. You're not funny. Not so good. Easy now. I'm not gonna hurt you. It looked like you needed some help. Don't touch me. What are you? Ugh, what is this horrible place? Yeah, I remember my first day down here. I know, it's scary. But you're actually pretty lucky. The machine could have turned you into a searcher. You mean that, that thing that attacked me? No, that's a piper. And he's part of a gang, so be careful. I don't understand any of this. I can't think. It hurts. You'll catch on pretty quickly, if you can stay alive. Lesson one. Searchers don't have legs, and they tend to swarm. Look, it's not good to stay in one place for too long around here. Keep moving, and stay close to the shadows. Take my advice. Head to the upper levels. It's safer there. Can I come with you? You can't. I'm sorry. I have a wolf. He doesn't care for strangers. A wolf? Like I said, you'll catch on. Good luck. I hope we meet again. Oh, and one more thing. Above everything else, stay away from the ink demon. What's an ink demon? It's an alien, well, you'll know it? him when you see him. He likes to smile, and he kills anything that moves. Yeah, it's an alien. <laughs> Wait! What's your name? They call me Alice. I'm not very fond of it. I'm Audrey. Well, Audrey, welcome to the studio. Oh, you sneaky bugger. Right. Well, welcome to the game, I suppose. There's something through there. Is there a way around? Yeah, this is very, very clearly drawing heavy inspiration from Alien Isolation. And I'm getting strong Bioshock vibes here as well. I suppose that's a good thing and a bad thing. <laughs> I mean, obviously the cell shaded art scheme is very reminiscent of Borderlands with a heavy Bioshock influence. Best to stay out of sight. Gotta watch, listen, and when the time is right, push forward. Okay. Another message from my mysterious best friend. I wonder if that's Bendy himself. The character I was animating at the start of the game. Oh, a mirror. A uh, locker I can hide in? No? No, something to search. With nothing in it. Well, plenty in it, but nothing I can pick up. Let's check out the mirror. Well, that doesn't look good at all. Yeah, I've seen better days. Ah, factory floor, that way. Okay, that's a dead end. Uh, well, it's not completely, but I'm, I want to investigate this studio floor area first, just in case there's anything I've missed. something down here. Okay, there's a door down there I can't open. But I can climb up here. There better not be another jump scare. <laughs> okay, there isn't. Um, a recording. Put up my 
my feet, cut the hole in my socks. Five o'clock comes easy around here. <laughs> Buddy. Some kind of radio I can listen to. Also that poster with Boris the Wolf. Alice said she had a wolf. That's the cartoon character on the poster. I mean, it probably is. Right, okay, so there's... Can I shut this door? I mean, it's probably not going to help, but I will shut the door behind me. So, um, there was something up here. Yeah, that's the dead end. Another recording. Yeah, so those Gen Corporation boys are kind of strange. Every time I come back to work, they put in even more of their pointless gadgets. Now, last week, huh, they, uh, they built some kind of, I don't know, electrical towers over near Animation Alley. This week, they added security codes for opening doors. Jeez, what kind of work do they think we do here anyways? Last I checked, we make toys and silly cartoons. This ain't Fort Knox, you know what I mean? Now, it's my job to look over these shipping invoices and remember a bunch of random numbers? Yeah, no freaking thank you! I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna record the door code here so we don't forget it. <clears throat> All right. Code is 451. 451. And if uh, Mr. Drew... Damn it, not so much noise. Quiet. Okay, now we're on. Oh, there's a, a thing. Collected a gent part. I've no idea what a gent is, why it's in parts, but um, I'll pick it up. What the hell was that? Another recording. He sees everything. Oh, great. It seems that Archgate Studios, in all its misplaced admiration, was so eager to absorb the life's work of that crooked charlatan Joey True, they didn't fully realize what they had acquired. Call it fate that I just happened to be there on the loading dock that morning when the delivery boys dropped one of the crates it smashed open and inside there was something true nope 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 Yes. That this crude device held secrets. Secrets that could be mine. Oh. Kind of open that door, isn't it? The one with the thing behind it. Oh, what's this? Locker access. Now open. Okay. I don't remember seeing a sign saying locker room. Oh, there we go. Employee lockers. Yeah. Oh, no, there was something in there. <laughs> Come on, Jingles, it's only a game. Yeah, you say that. <laughs> but, what's this? So, because there was something in here, wasn't there? Can I hide in any of these lockers? No, they're all just searchable. All right, let's search them then. Um, yeah, I really should have been paying more attention earlier on when I was told to eat some food. Is that a key? It is a key. You don't need to eat every bit of food that you pick up. When you see a health bar at the bottom of the screen, that's when you need to eat food. When you don't need food, when you're at full health, you don't see a health bar. What's that? What is that? The monkey is here. 
the power-up thing. Oh, it's exactly like the power-up things that you would find in um, Bioshock. So, stamina or health? Uh, I'll take the health. When I start rowing, there's a sort of white bar at the bottom of the screen. That's your stamina bar. There was a thing in here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. That sign said factory floor. So this is the locker room that leads to the factory floor. And there's something on the factory floor. So, uh, I don't know where to go. There was a switch through here though, wasn't there? Um, I just opened up access to the locker room. Can I also open up access to the factory floor from here? I'll throw this switch again. Nope. Factory access not open. So how do I get to the factory? Do I even want to get to the factory? Does that, that look like a bit of a dead end? I mean, the door was broken, so... Retrace our steps, see if there's anything I missed. I love the art style, by the way. I mean, it's basically Bioshock, but cell shaded, like Borderlands. So there was a door down here that I couldn't... Well, actually, I was, I was just assuming I couldn't open it. It, it didn't look very openable. No, nope, no, nope, can't get through. Okay, maybe later. There was nothing up there. That was a dead end. Just a recording and a radio. That switch down there was broken. Definitely nothing in that locker. Very, very creepy mirror. So where am I supposed to be going? Oh, I missed something. Eat. Yeah, I have no visible health bar at the bottom of the screen, so I don't actually need to eat everything that I pick up. The health bar is only visible if you've taken health damage. I didn't figure that out until later. Hang on a second. That said, Wilson knows. The last time I opened that cupboard, it just said, turn around. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very creepy. Okay, that's the locker room, isn't it? What did I miss? Because that door is completely busted. Oh, maintenance. Oh, right. Okay. I picked up a key from the locker, didn't I? It was the maintenance key. It must have been. Yep. Caution. Keep closed. Uh, why? <laughs> why? What's on the other side of the door? God damn it, game, stop spinning it out. You're not scaring anybody. It kind of is. <laughs> What's this? Animation Alley. Oh, fuck off with the jump scares game. Save your game any time in the pause menu. Do you think that's good advice? Maybe I should do that right now. <laughs> it's like... I mean, usually in this kind of game, you're not really in any actual danger until a certain amount of time has passed. They just like you to think that you're in danger. The fact that it's prompting me to save the game now might suggest that I am actually in some kind of danger. Is this like the Bendy in the Dark revival version of arriving at the medical wing in Alien Isolation? <laughs> <laughs> where you are actually... I mean, technically you could die before that point in Alien Isolation, 
Uh, but not at the hands of the alien, just at the hands of the other survivors. But it was when you arrived at the medical wing in Alien Isolation where the alien started hunting you for real. I think I might have just arrived at the equivalent of that point in Bendy and the Dark Revival. And I think that is a good point at which to um, bid you a fond farewell until the next episode. We're going to see how it goes. In the meantime, I hope you've been enjoying this one. And I hope you're all having a great weekend. See you in the next episode. Take care. And I'll catch you next time.